Okay, I am going to cycle back to the Brisbane city. Yeah, but wow, look amazing sunset. It's so nice. Look at that. It's a little bit cloudy. Looks like going to rain, and that's the the best sunset you can see. The weather looks so so amazing today. I was expecting to rain, but it turned out to be a really nice day for cycling. Is today is not very hot. Um, you know, it's about twenty five degree. You know, it's a really good day. You can just you know enjoy the day cycling. Look at the story bridge in front of us. It's quite amazing when they first built. They didn't have much technology back then. And they really thought about the future of Brisbane. How, how it's going to be like a really big city. And um, they were really thinking about like how strong the bridge has to be to to accommodate all the cars, you know, for the traffic. Okay, they are also building um, Howard Smith's um, Wolf um, docking station for, for CC Cat, so you can catch um, boats to to here to go for dining and really nice absolutely nice river river front view So many nice restaurants here. There's a Mexican restaurant, there's a Italian restaurant, there's a, a few pubs. Um, there's a just some like casual dining for the whole, whole family, so it's not too expensive. And uh, there's a kids' playground. This one on my right is actually a Mexican restaurant, it's quite nice. Yeah, come out enjoy the night and uh, it's, people here are very friendly so come along you know if you happen to be in Brisbane come to Howard Smith Wharf
also called a kids playground for kids. I think if you have kids, you know, you can bring the kids out along and they can enjoy the playground. And uh, people often bring their dogs along as well. Some people dress up really nice. Some people just, you know, just dress up more casual. You know, in Australia, I think people generally don't judge people as much. So, so you can, yeah, you can just dress casual, you know, uh, or you can dress up nice if you want. I think people here are very, not very judgmental, you know, how you, how you dress. Of course, you know, if you go to some really nice fine dining, you kind of expect to, you know, as, at least dress up decent. Okay, that's the Brisbane city. Oh, look at the view. So nice here. I'm back at the Eagle Street Pier. It's a very famous pier in Brisbane. It's really nice river walk and uh, it also has a really nice restaurants around here. So if you're into like uh, fine dining or you know, take romantic dates, um, you can come along to Eagle Street Pier. They have a lot of nice restaurants. Um, I, I've been to several of those restaurants. It's really nice actually. Uh, there's some good foods like Italian foods, uh, Asian foods, um, French as well. Um, yeah, it's quite quite nice. But you know, you do have to pay a little bit extra because the view, the romance, and things like that. So, yeah, I mean, you do have to pay, it will be extra for it. Okay, they are building a new apartments. So uh, it's gonna be a very expensive apartment. Okay, here yeah, they're gonna build new apartments. It's gonna be a really luxury riverfront apartments. Yeah. <laughs> Obviously they're gonna be charging fair bit as well. So but you know people some people really like the river view and happy to pay extra for so yeah it's up to individual you know some people yeah don't really care very much about the view you know they're happy to to find some way you know a little bit cheaper There's a restaurant, Massimo. It's quite nice. It's a Italian restaurant. And there's uh, another place called Navala. It's, 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 it's a, a Brazilian barbecue. I actually been there. Uh, the food is quite quite nice. It's so different. You know, Brazilian barbecue, they have um, different style doing the barbecue. They generally barbecue with the charcoal. And so, so the meat tastes a bit different. So if you're into different cultural foods, you know, maybe you should try the one in Eagle Street as well. 